Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Rachel and I'm a huge Eurovision fan as well as musician. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to, reviewing and giving my analysis on Poland's entry for this year's upcoming contest. So obviously they have selected Ochman or Christian Ochman with River. And I'm excited to listen to this because it's my first listen. And for a bit of context, Poland last year sent Rafal with The Ride, arguably the right song, but the wrong singer and the wrong staging. And unfortunately, it didn't qualify. A lot of people dissed that song. I actually thought it was OK. It just wasn't put together very well on stage and the vocals weren't very strong. So let's see what they've done this year. How are they going to build upon what happened last year and improve? So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Subscribe if you haven't already. I make lots of videos to do with Eurovision. And let's see exactly what's happened here with Poland. Gonna take my body down right down, down, down to the river. Gonna take my body down. Let the water carry me away. Just float away. Oh, oh, oh. So I usually pause somewhere around a minute into the song just to give my initial thoughts. Goodness me, I was not expecting any of this. This is really good. So, okay, I need to calm down a sec because this is giving me vibes I wasn't expecting at all. Okay, okay. Basically, we've got firstly great piano chords in there. I, I always go on about chords because they're really important in music. If chords are boring, even if you don't understand what chords are, are and how they function, you can still hear in the music if chords feel repetitive or boring. But what's happened here is that they're using modes. It's I think the Lydian mode, but correct me if I'm wrong. So they're using chords in here which are slightly altered to give it more of a folk feel and making it slightly less sad. It's, it's a very... Um, <laughs> very basic word to use there it's making it less melancholy by adding a major chord in there i don't know if anyone understands music you probably know what i'm talking about and i hope you do otherwise i sound completely ridiculous right now but the use of that chord is adding a slight bit of sweetness to this and i really like it so so far we got a really cracking voice vocal performance is on point right now he is so good great tone lovely drums and then this sort of dubstep i don't want to even say dubstep because it's an outdated term to be honest this drum and bass thing comes in and changes it up it just takes it in a whole new direction and it's taken me off guard it surprised me that's fantastic so far beautiful little sounds in the background these really kind of shimmering strings making it sort of the perfect recipe for the hairs on your arms and the back of your neck to just stand up to be honest so let's keep going i'm actually really really excited to see how this song progresses wow gonna lay my head right down right now 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 and forever gonna lay my head right down <laughs> Great chords, great chords. Oh. <laughs> 
I paused it again. So something else that's jumping out at me is such a great melody line. And the melody line is catchy. It's simple. But what they've done to kind of embellish it a bit is make the chords underneath move in different directions and sort of do unexpected things. So I'm really impressed with the songwriting element of this. It's, it's very strong and sophisticated. And we've got the light and shadow of the backing track with the drums coming in, fading away. We've got nice elements there of instruments and timbre being explored. And then all sort of on top of this is his wonderful voice. We're getting a nice falsetto and then the powerful sustained notes. It's just a re the recipe for success. is very well done Poland well done for selecting that song it was probably a very strategic and very great move to make sending a song like that it's just so different from everything else we've got so far and that is definitely to their advantage oh my goodness so it was quite a journey that song was taking the listener on it was moving in all kinds of directions but it was all coming back to that chorus that was the grounding element brilliant brilliant melody lines like I said before and just a really great solid vocal and the only way is up to be honest I can imagine this being staged in Turin with a great light show and lots of colours and obviously some imagery of water would be fantastic to tie into the title of the song. Yeah, there's just little things that need to be done to really make it come alive. Because obviously the performance at this national final, I wouldn't say it was static, but it was definitely in need of a, a, a better stage show. And I think obviously between now and the final, because this is probably going to the final in Eurovision, I think they can work wonders and really make something special happen on stage. This is such an upgrade for Poland. Oh my goodness, this is probably Poland's biggest chance of placing in the top 10 for a long time. So congratulations. I think my score for this song is going to be an 8.5 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed that. And I'm so impressed with the songwriting behind that and the way it's been crafted. So thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about this song. Do you agree with me, disagree with me? And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys soon for lots more content coming. Bye.